How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be going over a list I compiled of five survival strategy games that I'm looking forward to in 2018. Now with one exception, all four of these have yet to be released, but they are currently looking at a 2018 timeline. When I say strategy survival or survival strategy, I'm mostly talking about strategy games that focus more on the struggle against a harsh climate as opposed to other humanoid players or NPCs. Survival strategy is a somewhat nascent outbreak genre, combining more traditional strategic elements like like long-term logistical planning or building for a group of several characters with an environment with harsh living conditions and limited supplies. While supernatural elements such as zombies may be common, there are plenty of games in this subgenre like RimWorld and Oxygen not included that focus more on event-based or environmental challenges. This list will be in order from 5 to 1, 1 being the most anticipated and 5 being the least anticipated. So let's get started. At number 5 we have Atomic Survival. According to the description of the game, decades have passed since a nuclear war destroyed civilization as we know it. Now it is time to rebuild. Laws, morals have been reset. It is down to you to decide how your new outpost will behave, what it will promote, and what it will punish. If you can keep your people alive in a hostile world where survival doesn't come easily and can build strategically, perhaps you can create a settlement others will admire or fear. You decide. So Atomic Society is coming out in early 2018 and as you might have deduced from the description of it, it's much more on the strategy side of survival than it is on the survival side of strategy, if that makes any sense. One of the reasons that I'm a little bit dubious about this game is because it's by a fairly unknown publisher, so I really don't have any idea how well they'll be capable of delivering you know, a compelling product. The screenshots of the game look pretty interesting so far. It shows you having a little settlement build up in a apocalyptic kind of wasteland, and I think it could definitely be interesting in terms of introducing you to actually creating a society, not just focusing on a single character or group of people in that society. So that is certainly something I'm looking forward to. There seem to be a lot of options available to the player where you can create a town that reflects your values with very hot topic issues such as slavery, drug use, murder, and euthanasia. So this one is probably a little bit more on the city building side of survival, but I think it's certainly worth keeping an eye on. Number four on my list is Frostpunk. Now, I've seen this game played a little bit before and it certainly looks interesting. It looks like a very well polished game. The only real question I have about it is whether or not the gameplay itself can be pulled off as compelling in the long term. In the short term, it has a very interesting and strong early game set in the frozen wilds, which is something that is a little bit un more unusual. According to the description, in an ultimately frozen world, people develop steam-powered technology to oppose the overwhelming cold. The city ruler has to manage both inhabitants and the infrastructure the cities live in. Leaders' tactical skills face challenges, frequently questioning morality and basic foundation of what we consider an organized society. Here, optimization and resource management often clash with empathy and thoughtful decision making. While city and society management consume most of the ruler's time, at some point exploration of the outside world is necessary to understand its history and present status. So Frostpunk could be considered in a similar vein as Atomic Society, uh, focusing on strategy and city builder a little bit more heavily than the actual survival part of it. Overall, I've seen gameplay of this game and it looks very graphically impressive at the moment, but only time will tell whether or not the mechanics of it are actually compatible and something that you'd want to play long term. Its release date is currently to be announced, but given the fact that the game has actually been played on stream by some, I don't think a 2018 release date would be unreasonable to expect. Number three on the list is a game called Overland. According to the description, Overland is a squad-based survival strategy game with procedurally generated levels set in a post-apocalyptic North America. Every random level is full of close calls and hard choices, even though the interface is approachable and easy to learn. Manage fuel supplies, weapons, and other items by making the right choices on the procedural roadmaps. A road trip straight into the heart of the cataclysmic event that changed the earth forever. Now I haven't seen much of the game, but it looks to be very stylistic in terms of its art direction, going for something a little bit more unique than what we usually see. The gameplay loop itself is comprised of levels that you will move from one to another during the road trip, and these levels are like mini scenarios or puzzles that will have a limited environment with which to work in. And and make optimal decisions. While I doubt the game will see any sort of long-term playability, the procedurally generated roadmap full of randomized levels and squad-based gameplay certainly sounds like it could be compelling for at least several hours. Overland is currently looking at a release date sometime in 2018. Number two on this list is They Are Billions. This is the only game that has already been released to at least early access of the list of five that I made here, and according to the description, They Are Billions 
Guardians is a strategy game in a distant future about building and managing human colonies after a zombie apocalypse destroyed almost all of humankind. Now there are only a few thousand humans left alive that must struggle to survive under the threat of the infection. Billions of infected roam around the world in massive swarms, seeking the last living human colonies. So this is a single player real time strategy game that focuses on defending a base, essentially, against swarms of the infected, as they call it. Now, this is a typical sort of zombie survival game, but I think it's very interesting, the strategy elements that have been added here. It's something that we don't see a whole lot, especially when it comes to zombies, is being able to defend against them in a real-time strategy sort of element. So this is another base-building uh, strategy survival game. As I might have mentioned a little bit earlier, the game was released to early access in mid-December of 2017, so this is not a specifically 2018 game, but the actual campaign mode will be finished in early 2018. So I think the game should show a lot more potential for 2018 than it ever did for 2017, and therefore I feel justified including it in my list of games to look forward to in 2018. The game has currently been very positively received, with over 3,282 reviews on Steam, and ultra high definition graphics for 4K displays that have been designed from the ground up, which is something I do see a lot in strategy games. A lot of people mention it's a great game, but it looks a bit dated. Hopefully They Are Billions continues to surpass expectations with thousands of units on the screen and 4K graphics. I think this is a winning combo and I'm really excited to see a little bit more of the zombie flavor being infused into this nascent subgenre of survival strategy. And number one on my list is State of Decay 2. Now I understand this is not strictly survival strategy, but I think it incorporates some very specific features that are very similar to what you would see in survival strategy. So State of Decay 2 builds on the success of the first with more vehicles, base building, and community options in addition to up to four player co-op because State of Decay, the original, was only single player as well as cross-platform multiplayer between Windows 10 and Xbox One. For those unfamiliar with the original game, it was a third person zombie survival game which distinguished itself by having you play as an entire community in third person surviving the apocalypse. You can only main one character for a set amount of time before they would become exhausted, making them ineffective at combat until after they had rested. In the interim, you would need to swap out to another community member to let the other community member rest. This combined with some RPG elements made mastering different character strengths and playstyles a must, and combined with character permadeath and multiple limited time missions gave the world atmosphere a desperate and pressured feel, which I greatly enjoyed. State of Decay was also one of the few third-person zombie survival games, and there are still some pretty tense and scary moments despite being able to have a full 360-degree view of your character. Undead Labs and Microsoft, the developer and publisher respectively of the original State of Decay, rightfully took some flack for re-releasing the game with many graphical and mechanical upgrades without allowing existing owners any discounted path to upgrade without repurchasing the game at full price. But hopefully, with Xbox Play Anywhere support, Microsoft will have a greater incentive to avoid bad PR on their storefront than they did on Steam for the original. State of Decay 2 plans to launch sometime in 2018 to Xbox Play Anywhere, which includes support for Windows 10, but not previous versions of Windows. It's unknown at this point if or when we will see the game on Steam. So those are the five survival strategy games that I'm looking forward to playing in 2018. Obviously, there are plenty more out there, but I've narrowed this list down to five to keep what I perceived as the quality at least relatively high. If They Are Billions is any indicator of what's to come, it looks like 2018 will be a great year for survival strategy games in general. If there is a survival strategy game in particular that you are looking forward to, feel free to leave a comment below this video letting me know about it. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.